everybody welcome back to my channel if you are new my name is Lauren and I do videos about home decor lifestyle cleaning motherhood a little bit of everything so make sure you subscribe before you leave so you don't miss out on any future videos so today's video is really exciting because I am doing a bathroom transformation video so this is our master bath we don't have a huge master bath, but it is the biggest one that we've ever had, so I do really like it, but I've never gotten around to decorating it before. So basically when we moved in, I just hung up the shower curtain that we already had, laid down the bath mats, and didn't do anything else. Now if you guys have been watching my videos for a while, you know that our last apartment, the decor was kind of like coastal, cottagey type of vibe, so we had a lot of rustic decor and a lot of beachy decor. And since moving into this house, I definitely kept like the cottagey farmhouse, but kind of steered away from the beachy um, side of it. So I did keep all that decor though. And so I'm gonna make this bathroom a beach theme just so I get some usage out of all that decor that I already have. So everything that I'm gonna be using in this bathroom is things that I already have. Minus, I did get a new shower curtain because I wanted it to match a picture that we got. My husband is really into like paintings and pictures, so he wanted to pick out a painting. So that is pretty much the only new things are that painting and then the shower curtain that I got to match the painting because the one we have now is beachy, but it's too bright to match the painting. So yeah, we're just gonna get into it. I'm gonna start with cleaning the bathroom because it is trashed right now and then we are gonna decorate it and hopefully it'll be a huge transformation. Look out, here she comes The woman that I love It's too bad she'll never know Yeah, I can't tell her how I feel Because she has someone who makes her happy I'm a ghost in these walls Or at least I try to be So here is the painting that um, James picked out for the bathroom and it was only $20 at Hobby Lobby. Let me see if I can get closer. So as you can see, it's like textured. So this is all textured and then this has like actual sand on it. It is just gorgeous. It matches the bath mats that we already had perfectly, but this is why I'm gonna be changing out the shower curtain because even though the shower curtain is beachy, it doesn't really tie into this painting and this is kind of like the focal point. So the first thing I'm gonna do is change out the shower curtain. I watch her when she walks. She's giving me these feelings that I've never felt before. But she will never know that I love her so well. She's with somebody else and I will have to let her go. She will never know, na na. Never know, na na. She will never know. Like she stole my heart. So I wanted to show you guys the beachy stuff that I already had from our last apartment. Obviously this isn't everything, but there's a lot of decor that would look weird in a bathroom. So these used to be on our living room wall and they were just from Target Dollar Spot a few years ago, like a dollar each. And I think I want to incorporate those somehow. This is just, I don't know, a little ball of decor <laughs> so maybe I'll put that somewhere um, I have these picture frames I don't know if it's weird to have pictures of yourself in the bathroom I feel like it kind of is so I think I'm gonna hang up the picture frames but then maybe print out some cute sayings or something like that to put in the actual frames so it's not like we're staring at you while you're using the restroom as far as the toothbrush holder and soap dispenser, these are both new. I bought these um, with the intention of putting them in this bathroom and they were from Walmart, super cheap, and I thought they matched perfectly. This I already had from TJ Maxx. I have a bunch of these all over my house. And then this I already had from Hobby Lobby and um, it was $15, so really great deal. And I'm thinking I can put like my lotions, my serums, my essential oils, yada yada on there. Now the thing that started this whole beach theme in our original apartment was actually this, and I do want to incorporate this. 
and it is a wreath with a bunch of shells. My husband actually got me this for Valentine's Day the first year we moved, the year before we moved into our first apartment. So maybe four, three or four years ago. And I based our whole apartment theme off of this reef, and I just love it and it has so many good memories. So I'd love to put this somewhere in the bathroom as well. I believe he got this from Pier One, but like I said, it was like three or four years ago. When they hit the ground, I hear the sound of empty streets. Yesterday has gone to sleep. So all that's left. You're the only thing I see Hold my hand and hear the words I say Close your eyes and let us fade away Build a secret place for you and me Let our minds be caught up in a dream eventually get something to put right up there because I feel like there should be something up there but when I tried to put the picture frame higher it kind of looked odd so maybe like a cute little cursive saying or something right above there would be cute whispers that it finds the walls are listening when we talk making echoes as we walk no one left but you and me It's like a made up place that only we can see Hold my hand and hear the words I say Close your eyes and let us fade away Build a secret place for you and me Let our minds be caught up in a dream So now what I'm going to do, I have um, both the bath mats in the washer washing. I am going to clean the floors and as I'm also going to clean the countertops, just clean everything so there's a fresh start, everything is in its right spots, and then we'll get decorating. Into each other's eyes. There's no one left but you and me. It's like a made up place that only we can see. Lost again, going back around Dreaming of a time when I get things right Lost in the shadows of a million stars Shouldn't they invite my near and far? Shouldn't they at all just tell me? Now 
over here, I am just gonna put some things on that tray that I usually leave out on the counter. Okay, so here is the after. I love it. So when you walk in, this is what is on the counter. And then looking, so then looking this way, this is the view you get when you first walk in. I like how when you walk in, you also get to see those because you see them through the mirror. And this is this angle. I only added a few things, but I feel like it totally transformed the room. you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe leave a comment down below let me know what you think I really like how it turned out and I really like that I just got to use the decor I already had sorry if it's a little echoey obviously I'm in a bathroom but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you all have an amazing day